Good evening. You're on the air. Hello, Bill. Hello. Yes. Um, I, uh, good. Turn off your radio, please. I've been doing research um, and you know, following up on the Masonic aspect of the New World Order. Uh huh. And I agree with you uh, when you say that this country is a Masonic Republic, and I understand all of this. What I can understand is if these people are so after world domination, why would they give us a chance? Uh, act in this great Masonic experiment, why wouldn't they just have it locked down 100 years ago? Because it wasn't a chance. It was a sure thing. They, under Our forefathers, if you read their writings, they knew more about human nature than any psychologist that lives on the face of the earth today. They knew we would give up our freedoms in exchange for benefit, our liberties and preserve the, the Republic. They also gave us uh, everything in the Constitution that we could use to destroy our own selves. They understood that human nature is such that if we can get something for nothing, and if we think it's for nothing, that's the way we're going to go. And that's exactly what has happened. So it was just sort of a hollow gesture, because they knew what the outcome would be. Then. Well, not only it wasn't a hollow gesture, they had to establish this country in order to give the common man a taste of freedom for the first time in the history of the world. This had never happened before. It was the catalyst that toppled the kings and queens from their thrones in Europe. It took away the power that opposed them. Number two, it was to prove to the common man that he could not rule himself. They knew that human nature, common man would, would, through his human nature, his human foibles and failings, give up everything that they had given us, and then that would be, that would be the reason quoted to us in the New World Order why we cannot have those liberties or freedoms. I see. And so actually, this was set up as uh, the power transference was taken away from the old... Uh, uh, the aristocrats. That's right, and this, this country was the instrument which would bring into the world the new world order, and it was all put into the great seal of the United States. If you know how to s interpret the symbolism of the mysteries, it's all right there. Who they were, what they were about, and what they intended to, to bring about is, is right there in the great seal. I see. So, gee, if our founding fathers were deists and they were members of the secret societies, and some of them were masquerading as Christians, and some of them were just flat weren't Christians, weren't masquerading at all. Why did they create this country? They came here to create a new world, not a country. How many of you really read what they wrote? They didn't come here to create a country. They came here to create a new world. What did they call it? They called it the New World, didn't they? What else did they call it? The Grand Experiment? The Great Experiment? Remember reading those words? And just read right over them, didn't really understand what it meant? They came from a world that was oppressive, ruled by kings and queens and popes and prelates and bishops and lords and barons who just because they didn't like the way you look could chop you into quarters and throw you to the pigs if they wanted to, any time they wanted to, and if you didn't believe the religion they wanted you to believe in, they'd burn you at the stake or torture you. In some way, make your life absolutely miserable. They came here to create a new world free from all of that. But they knew that they could not be safe in the new world if the old world was the way that it was. How do you get rid of kings and queens and barons and lords and emperors and prelates and sultans and emirs? How do you do that? That's exactly right. A new world order. From the beginning, that was the goal, ladies and gentlemen. That's the absolute truth. From the very beginning, that was the goal. What do you think new world means? What do you think it means? So they did something that was unheard of, never been done in the history of the world. They set the cattle free. They said, ah, you're not really a serf. You're not really a slave. You're not really as dumb as they say you are. You're not really a bunch of cattle. Now you're free men. You got brains. We're even going to write this contract to guarantee your freedom. But we know you won't keep it. 
because you're human. And they wrote about that, didn't they? Didn't they tell us all the ways that we would give it up? Didn't they write about it? Didn't they warn us over and over and over and over again in all of their writings? They knew we would give it up because we're human. And they were geniuses who understood human nature probably better than any single group of men that's ever lived throughout the history of the world. They understood it perfectly. What did Ben Franklin say when he came out of the Constitutional Convention after everything was signed, sealed, and delivered? Somebody said, hey, Ben, what have ye wrought? See? A republic, if you can keep it. He knew. They all knew. What was it really about? Why did they give it to us if they knew we would give it up? And they did know. Make no mistake about that. They knew. What do you think the fight over federalism was all about? They wanted to make sure that at some future point, the great central government would seize control. They even pretended to fight over this. Like all of these secret society people do. It's called the Hegelian dialectic. We want all these people to do something. So you and I are going to get together. We're going to create two different causes. We're going to get all these people wrapped up in it. We're going to pretend to fight against each other. And this fight is going to bring about the conclusion that we really wanted in the first place. They're all going to think that it was done accidentally by them. And we didn't have anything to do with it. Many of you understand the concept of Hegelian dialectic of manipulation of political resolution. If you don't, you'd better read Hegel and you'd better study it. Because that's what's happening. 